If you want to bring a new level of flexibility, one thing is lot of toxicity has to go from the system. If you just go on water diet or honey and water diet, which will keep you energetic enough, if you are not already bone thin, if you can afford to use a little bit of weight, if you put honey, you won't lose weight also. If you add enough honey or you take spoonfuls of honey, you won't lose weight. If you do this for seven, eight days, the amount of toxicity that you expel from the body is tremendous. If you do this, then you see suddenly you find your body is so much more flexible. Just experiment, don't believe all this. So consumption of uh, mildly laced honey water, it should be very mild. Mildly laced honey water together acts as a wonderful way of cleansing the system, dilating the system that when you do sadhana, one thing it brings flexibility to the muscles, Another thing is because the dilation brings flexibility to the muscle and that flexibility as a consequence becomes a way that you slowly build the system into a more powerful possibility. So consuming honey will bring a certain balance to the circulatory system which is very, very essential for a yoga practitioner because you're doing… you're pushing the body in certain ways. So keeping the blood chemistry in a certain balance keeping the blood pure will definitely happen with a regular consumption of honey and it's very necessary for someone who practices yoga. And it brings a certain translucence to your energies. And it is… it is also true with honey that it also has impact on your energy system. Honey makes you more vibrant.